This is tutorial 12, preparing your raster laser engraving job. Okay, to start off today, we're going to want to open the file that we'll be working with. So go File, Open, and you're going to want to look in your tutorial folder for a file called Cortec.cdo, and then just double click on it to open it. So this is the file as is, and it is now ready to be uh, sent to the laser. So we'll just select the file, we'll go File, choose Print. Uh, today I'm using the Venus Engraver, so I'll be going through the setup and all that stuff for uh, this particular laser engraver, so just bear with me if you're using a different one. Um, so I want to go to Preferences and select uh, Plate Area and Print is shown on screen. And uh, then after that we can click on the Printer tab and go to Setup. And we'll want to make sure that the option and mode setting are set to black and white. And then we'll set our pen power and speed settings for this example. So today let's just use 50% for both. If I could get it there. Just bear with me for a second here. There we go. And uh, you'll just want to make sure that vector cut is deselected and click OK. And uh, you'll also just want to make sure that uh, the print preview window box is checked. And you can go ahead and click OK. And that's how the file will be sent to the laser. Um, so the other method of doing this, I'm going to hit cancel. Um, using the same file, what we're going to want to do is go to layout and select ungroup. And then we're going to want to hold down shift and select the three pieces of text. And then we're going to assign them the color red. Now this file is also ready to be sent to the laser, so we'll go file print. And again, we'll just double check the preferences to make sure that print is shown on screen and plate area are both selected. And then click on the printer tab again, and we'll go and click on setup. And this time you want to make sure that mode setting is set to black, or sorry, manual color fill. And we'll set our pen power and speed settings again. So for black, let's just use 50 and 50. And for red, let's use 100 and 100. And again, you'll just want to make sure that raster is selected and vector is not. And you can go ahead and click OK. And go ahead and click OK again, assuming that the preview window has a check mark in it. And that takes us to the print preview window, and everything looks great. So you can just go ahead and click print, and that brings us to the end of this tutorial.